Hey guys, and welcome to another Gunpla TV review. This is Evan, and this time you're looking at the HG Re-Rising Gundam from Gundam Bill Divers Re-Rise. So this is a set of actually four different kits. Included in this box is the Eurovan Gundam, the EX Valkylander, the Gundam Aegis Knight, and the Wodom Pod. Each of these are from the same series. Just like in the show that these are based on, uh, you can take parts from each of these to combine them into the Re-Rising Gundam. In this mode, the main characters combine their powers to defeat the final bad guy of the series. Uh, and the final move that they use is called the Grand Cross Cannon. So in the show, when they do their final move, they all turn gold. So in this version of the kit, every single one of these is a gold variation of the original kit. So when you open up the box, you'll see that you have each of the four kits in here. I was kind of expecting it to be a different box for each of them, but it's all thrown right in here. Uh, you have runners for each of them, and you also have manuals for each as well. If you've already built all these kits before, you probably know exactly what to expect when you open the box. If this is the first time that you've done this, you might get a little confused, I think. The runners are all in Japanese for the names. I guess the easiest way to figure out which ones you need is just to open up the manual and, and compare the runners to the ones that are in the kit. For the sake of this review, I'm going to go over mostly the uh, look of these kits. If you are interested in finding more about these kits on their own, please check out our other reviews. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. But first and foremost, let's go over what's in the kit. Fully completed, you have your four manuals. One for the Eurovan Gundam, EX Valkylander, Aegis Knight, Wildum Pod, and also one for the Re-Rising Gundam itself. On top of that, you also have your Wildum Pod, Aegis Knight, Core Gundam, the Eurovan Gundam, the Eurovan Armor, and the EX Valkylander, as well as all the accessories that these kits came with. So, for example, with the Aegis Knight, you get the Lancer and the Shield, as well as effects parts. For the Core Gundam, you also get the Eurovan Armor, as well as the stand that the Eurovan Armor stays on. For the EX Valkylander, you get the Gun and the Shield. And for the Wodom Pod, you get the Plus Armor parts. In addition, you also have three stands here. Or they're all in different colors. You have one brown, one that's more of an orange shade, and one that's more of a light yellow. So they're all kind of different shades of the gold theme that they have going on here. On top of the gold theme, you have a lot of accents of this neon green color. Almost all the initially gold parts on the original kits are now this neon green. On top of that, some of the red parts here are in this copper color. I really like the way these looks. I'll get back to that. Oh, in addition, you also get a couple accessory parts. Three of these are necessary to create the Re-Rising Gundam, and a couple are for the Aegis Knight for holding the shield as well as putting them on stands. Let's take a look at the EX Valkylander first. Uh, so this one, I think, is the most gaudy of all of them. Uh, it's in a mostly light yellow shade with these... Uh, almost turquoise, a little bit more of a blue-green color for the stickers, and a lot of neon green. I gotta say though, I actually prefer this color scheme to the original. I thought the original was a little bit more gaudy in my opinion, with the blue, gold, and red. It didn't appeal to me as much as this one. This one seems a little bit more uniform, and uh, it's, it's a unconventional color scheme to be sure, but I kind of like it better. This one comes with all the same accessories and parts, so you can do all the different modes that the original came in as well. But yeah, this is probably the most simple of all of them. You can do this one uh, in less than 30 minutes, I would say, especially if you've done this one before. Very simple, and you do not need nippers for it. Up next is the Wodom Pod. Uh, this one I didn't get to do last time, so this is a first for me. I do quite like this one. I think the color scheme could have been a little bit better, though. I don't quite care for the gold that they went for for like the top of the dome and the back armor. It's a little bit flat colored and it looks more of like a mustard color than actual gold. Not too crazy about that. I think they should have gone for the copper here. But the plus armor is a nice shade and the main camera actually looks really nice with the gold on the outside. I like that. Overall, this is a pretty simple kit. A lot of the pieces are very large, so this one isn't too much of a difficult build either. I would say this one ranks second in terms of easy builds. 
Uh, the bulky liner is definitely the easiest one, but this one's not too far behind it. Oh, one other thing to note is I would definitely recommend grabbing a Gundam marker for these. Uh, I know I say that a lot in my reviews, but the panel lining, especially on the Wodom pod here, really pops because there's a lot of panel lining on this that if you have a Gundam marker, it makes the details show up a lot nicer and makes it look a little bit less cheapy. Next up is the Aegis Knight. I really like the way this one looked in its original form and here it actually looks pretty cool too. Not too, too gaudy despite the uh, amount of neon green here. I think it works pretty well. Again, you also have the copper pieces here for the skirt armor and the weapon. I wish there was more of this copper. I don't think I've seen this copper style before, but before this kit came out, I do like it a lot and I hope they continue to use it. This one even on its own looks really nice in my opinion. And definitely if, even if you don't want to make the re-rising Gundam a, a constant on your shelf, this one looks quite nice on its own as well. Oh, in addition, just like I mentioned, you also get the beam effects parts for this one. This time they're not yellow, but they're actually more of a turquoise color or a blue green color to go along with the color scheme. These look very nice too. Oh, and thank you all for pointing out to me that these are the Nin Pulse uh, beam effects parts. So yeah. Next up, we have the Core Gundam. I think this one looks the nicest in this color scheme, especially like all the copper parts on the abdomen where the no normally it's red, as well as the Core Defensor part. That's this huge piece of copper colored uh, plastic, and I really like the way that looks. The rest of it's kind of a light yellowish gold, and it works pretty well. It could be in my imagination, but I feel like the uh, joints here are a little bit more stiff, which I like. This That's pretty nice. In addition to the core Gundam, you also get the Yurivan armor. Uh, you also get a gold colored stand for this one, which looks really, really nice on its own. And you can also put this on top of the core Gundam to make a gold themed Yurivan Gundam, which is also a nice bonus. I was a little worried that they were going to skip adding this into the kit because you don't really need it for the re-rising Gundam. You only need the core Gundam for that part, but uh, I'm glad that they kept this in there as well. I would say between the Aegis Knight and the core Gundam set, the Aegis Knight's a little bit less complicated and the Yurivan armor set is probably the most complicated of all these kits. And of course, the assembly is just exactly the same as it was with the original version of the re-rising Gundam. You can check out our video on that as well. But fully completed, I feel like the uh, color scheme especially looks a lot better in this version. Uh, it's a little bit more deliberate, I guess is the best word. Everything's a bit more uniform here. And while it's still very wobbly and hard to pose, I still think it looks a lot better here. I know based on the comments on our, on our YouTube page, uh, some people really do not care for this kind of uh, injection plastic gold, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm not sure if there's a specific term for it. If there is, please leave a comment and let me know. But uh, I know a lot of people don't care for this kind of plastic or this kind of gold as much as something that's uh, painted or uh, chrome plated. But I think a lot of it works pretty well. Some shades of the color work better than others. I think the light yellow color on the Valkylander isn't so great and the kind of mustard color on the Wodom pod are not my favorite, but the core Gundam and the Aegis Knight, I think look really nice here. The only issue you might run into if you are a stickler for these kind of things is uh, the nib spots where you're cutting pieces off the runner. These will be a bit more obvious due to the nature of the plastic. Just looking at these pieces and these completed kits on their own, I don't notice them too much. So it's not a huge deal breaker, but uh, if that's something that you are concerned about, please keep that in mind. In addition, if anyone knows how to get rid of those stress marks, please let me know. Now, the big question is, who do you recommend this kit to? Uh, if you do not have these kits and you are not a fan of this gold color, I definitely recommend getting each of the other kits separately, or at least the kits that you like. If you do not have any of these kits and you think the color scheme looks nice, then this is a really good set. I believe this is actually cheaper than if you got all of them separately. So this is definitely the way to go in that case. In addition, if you're just a huge fan of this series and you have all four sets already and you just want to have the re-rising Gundam in there as well, then you can't go wrong with that either. So overall, since this is four kits, I would say the completion time took me about eight hours. That might be skewed because I've done these kits before. Uh, I guess it depends on how much you want to take your time with uh, each of them. And that's it for me on this Gunpla TV review, and I will catch you next time.